This coastal area is obviously uh, will receive the strongest storm surge and a lot of the strongest winds, but this is not just a coastal event. This is kind of a eastern Texas event, uh, and it's going to be with us probably till Wednesday or Thursday of next week. Category 2 storm right here, very well organized, uh, likely seeing some more strengthening throughout the day up to a major category, uh, major category 3 storm. I want to point out this. This is tomorrow night. So say we make landfall tonight, maybe be in the 8 to 11 o'clock range. This forecast right here is uh, 7 p.m. tomorrow local time, and we still have a hurricane. So we're going to be so close. This storm is moving so slowly that we're going to continue. It's also so close to the shore. It'll continue to have a moisture source. It will continue to have those strong winds. So we're talking about a really long duration event of the high winds. Then you factor in uh, along with that all of the rain that we're going to be dealing with. And so we have the inland flooding threat. The other thing we're going to be seeing is that storm surge pulls on shore here. And normally you have a hurricane or often we have hurricanes that move on very quickly and that storm surge begins to subside. This storm is going to stay so close to the shore that that storm surge is not going to go any way away. So if we've got a 6 to 12 foot storm surge along with this, uh, that's where we're going to run into the very big problems of that storm surge not going away and then the rain on top of that. This is a radar picture. I tell you what, uh, with all of the storms that we have seen come towards the U.S. in a long time, they often start to get dry air come into them, break apart a little bit. This one does doesn't have any of that going on. It is incredibly well organized. There are two eye walls. There's a central eye wall and then an outer eye wall. That often happens. They go through these replacement cycles. If this outer eye wall starts to take over and then squeeze in, uh, contract, we'll get a lot more energy out of this. And a strengthening storm is always way more dangerous than a storm that is stable or beginning to weaken. About 90 miles offshore here, but it's moving so slow it's going to take a good amount of time to get here. That's why we're talking about a landfall tonight. So it's a really long duration event with the winds. That's why we have the hurricane force winds even inland here. And I want to show you at least one of our models that we look at here. You go towards 9 o'clock tonight and we have major hurricane force winds right here on shore that, that does not move very well. All right. I want to show you this. This is one of our very reliable models. It's a European model. There's the center of the storm. You watch what happens. Tomorrow, 6 a.m., the center of the storm somewhere here on shore. You go in towards Saturday evening and Sunday. This model is very, very frightening and it's a model that we like a lot which makes us even more concerned. Take a look at Monday morning. The storm goes back over the water, has not really moved from this general area, all the rain continuing, potentially has time to strengthen again and then make a second landfall sometime Wednesday into Thursday, potentially as a very strong hurricane again. So we're not Everything you have heard us talk about in hurricanes that you think you understand how hurricanes work, you have to forget that with this one. This is a very different kind of event because it is such a long duration event of wind and the rain. And when you have that much tropical moisture, a storm that stays offshore continuing to have its moisture source, Take a look at what these model outputs are doing for rain. They're incredible. We've got rainfall totals here around 40 inches. And when you think about that, we, we never see model outputs like this, or very, very rare have I ever seen it. We've been seeing this happen for days. The models continue to show us that these are the kinds of rainfall totals that we're talking about. That means there's a very high confidence that we're going to be talking about these kinds of rainfall totals here, John. Take a look. Victoria, 35 inches, 41 in Port Lavaca. Go up towards Houston, 22 inches of rain. Houston has all kinds of flooding problems generally. We're talking about a widespread area. So you have storm surge, rain top falling on top of that. The water doesn't have any place to go because it's such a long area. Uh, and this is one storm I don't see any way that we don't have a catastrophe on our hands, which is very different. Sometimes you have a storm that is along the coast, uh, could go one way or another uh, that we're not so sure. This is not one of those. We have a catastrophe in the making here, no way out of it, and uh, it is all beginning right now. Evacuation should be done. All preparations should be done because things uh, just get worse from here on out throughout the night. Uh, Sorry, I know. It's so grim there, John, for uh, you. Yeah, I know the uh, National Weather Service is using the term catastrophic flooding, yep. and that's what we're looking at here. Yeah. Scary stuff. Rick Reichmuth, thank you. You bet.